Good morning, Dr. Clumber is here with episode number four of Transport Fever 2. Um, yes, it is um, um, rather early, but hey ho, we do want to get a few episodes in before the working day starts. So uh, let's have a look at where we are and what we are doing. Ah, we're going to the starting gem, I'm thinking, because we are definitely on a good trajectory. We're making a very healthy profit, 2 million in the last period. Um, I'm running at half speed, if you do know the game, and you're wondering why this looks a bit odd, that's why. So it's counting every 6 months. <coughs> I believe it's 6 months. Um, so 5 months to meet him, yes. Anyway, um, I think it's six months, and it's um, it's yeah showing do, that we're doing well. In the last episode, we have created a, a connection between the tools factory and Daventer, and it's pumping in cash. It's doing very nicely already, which is great. Um, I deleted the truck route, and I think I might have to put it back. I'm wondering why this looks different from when I last left it. Hmm. We will have to see. Ow, I just kicked something on the desk. Oh no, there they are, there they are. So I restarted the truck route uh, in between, basically after I uh, finished recording yesterday, because uh, the tools that are coming in here is great. You know, I love that there's a lot of tools, but there's probably a bit too many coming in already. And I don't want Hirugawa to start falling behind. As I say that, there's of course less tools here than there were, but hey ho, that's fine. We will need to look at the balance. I've started off with three trucks, and this time, rather than a little tiddlywinker, I've used proper trucks, depending on your definition of proper. Um, but yeah, this, this um, hopefully will keep boosting our uh, income. So we've got tools being delivered to Daventer and well there's something else I was actually going to in this episode and I might well get around to it I was going to start up the construction industry as well and create a, a cargo hub um, and I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet it'll be rail based because this early game you need to have trains and actually you need trains anyway because the trains are cool um, but I'm a bit flummoxed because I've got all these tools here, but I haven't got all, all the tool for supply, planks for supply, but I haven't got enough tools coming out, so I'm going to have to upgrade this train. And I'm going to do that now. Again, I'm running at fast speed, I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm going to do that now before it picks up, but I'm a bit concerned that I might overload it. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Um. Look at that, I've got 3 million in the bank already, crying, wow, this is going quick. Uh, we're going to try and run it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, a dozen cards, cards, whatever. And we'll see what that does to the flow of the uh, production. Because currently, I, the more planks I can get to the tools factory, the happier I am. Because the more tools are coming out, the more tools I lift here who come out in Deventer. And I also need to add Kerrigrade into the loop somehow as well. And that's not even happened yet. So I do need to make sure that I get... Ooh, did I do some of the signals here? No. I do need to make sure that I get as many of these plaques down to the tools factory as possible. So, yeah, that's basically where we're at. Um, the Dave the tool delivery, I would love for that to be just a bit slower. You know what? I'm going to return you. Because I want these planks to arrive first. So we're going to cheat the system a bit. We're going to let the planks get through this, uh, this gate and then the tool delivery train can turn around. Because the more that we get in, the better things through the signal, so now we can do this. How many have we got waiting anyway? 
Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. We've got loads waiting already. But that doesn't really affect anything. Um, right, so I've got a few options. One, I'm making enough money to be very happy at the moment, so that's not a problem. I could build a cargo hub already. So what I'm thinking there is rather than um, bringing the construction materials to Heru Gewaard, I could bring them to Deventer, which is great, because then Deventer is nice and central, spit it out to Kerkram with the Witte tools, spit it out to Heru Gewaard. Um, that's definitely an option. But if I do that, this line is not nowhere near overloaded. I mean, I could run another 15 trains on this. The problem I have is I want to keep my passenger train. This is that one. There But anyway, I want to keep the passenger train running quickly. And the more freight I run on this line, the less likely it is that the passenger train is going to get through very quickly. In fact, is it, where is it? I don't know where Bubble's gone. Let me have a look. Oh, there. He's out. He's getting better. Right, so... I am thinking about something even more dramatic as a project, basically. And that is to create a separate passenger line. So separating off the Fukago line, which is doing fine. And then have a fast passenger line between here and Gerard and David. It's very early in the game for me to think about this, to be fair. But, it's definitely worth considering. Because we could run it without this big loop in it. We could actually go around here. We could also... We could even just dig it through the hill. But I don't see the point, really. I think that's worth a project. So to do that, I would have to jump over the freight line. Um, several times, unless I want to run it on the outside. Yeah, I like that. I like that as a project. And um, to do that, we need to make sure that we have a clear idea of where it's going to run. So the freight line is sort of in the base in here, which is fine, that's where it needs to be. I think I'm going to jump all the way over and then run it from there. Because there's a bit of a hillock here. I can use that as a landing point for the passenger line. And then I don't need to jump over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that thinking. And then we could cut through. Rather than jump over this line, we could cut through the hill. Yeah. Okay. That is just about enough of a hill. Then jump over. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's some thinking going on, but I quite like the thinking that's going on. Um, yeah. This is a bit in the way. Uh, to be fair, we don't need this road. We only need the connection between the forest and the um, station there. So I could just run it through that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good, I have decisioned. We are going through the hill. So step one is getting the passenger line. It's already underground here. Basically all we need to do is continue that. The annoying thing is I'll have to cut it up. Uh, because otherwise I'm playing it in the dark. And this bit is quite important to get right. Um, and that means I have to run this whole line. There's a lot of thinking going on at the moment, as you can tell. And my apologies if that, uh, if that annoys you, but that's the way it is. I could run it on the outside as well, though. If I stay underground, go under, yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. And we'll separate it out and run it through this valley, yeah. Right, in that case, what I need to start with is... <coughs> I'm not going to bother with the high speed track yet. Um, and I, in fact, do I electrify this? I will at some point want an electrical train. Yeah, we'll just keep it electric. 
I always get annoyed because I technically forget that it's running on the electric and then, anyway, blah, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so this line here is only going to cost me 230,000. It's frankly, is a bargain. It's a bargain. I could run it parallel to the passenger, to the freight track, but I suspect I will want to expand that at some point. Um, so we're going to literally keep it separated all the way. Then, um, where am I going to go? I could dive under and through. That's going to be expensive. Um, or I could go on. Hmm. Several options again. Am I tempted to go through under? <coughs> Make a decision and live with it. Da -da 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 -da. That's probably a bit too expensive for my liking now. Can we make it a bit cheap? Hope it'll want more than I get into that road. So that's not useful. And but you know what? Screw the road. Yeah. I do like the idea of just getting on with this. Uh, I mean, I could do that. No. It's, it's okay. I want to stay under and emerge out and connect. It's actually a beautiful line, this as well. If you look at it, it connects really well with the station when this is done. So yeah, we're just going to wait a bit. Why is Bull stopping? What is it stopping for? That's fine. I need you to cash in, so let's speed up the clock a bit so that it can do. Yes. Thank you. Right. That's one. Oh, don't lose it. We need to build it. Um, yeah, yeah. I oh, don't really want it to keep going down or to, to just connect. Uh, ooh, I really did pick an expensive bit here. I need to get onto the ground at some point. We're gonna, um, cause it'll even if I pull it back here. Where there's no fire duct, it still want to fire duct. I don't really want that, so I have to put a bit of a curve in, which isn't great. It isn't great, um, but it's still 120. It'll become a problem when we do the high speed line, but we still need to be slightly economic, you know, not made of cast at this point. Um, yeah, okay. If we connect this here. Actually, I quite like that. It definitely gives the impression of high-speed train to read, doesn't it? I think it does. I uh, don't want to connect it there. Put it there. Yeah, we haven't got the uh, extra passenger platform in yet. Do I need it? No, because I'm only running passenger. Ah, I will run freight into it at some point. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waiting again for cash. I don't want to borrow money to build track. It's a, an unwritten rule I have. So we'll have to wait a few ticks. We'll speed up the timing. It does look good, though, doesn't it? That looks like a nice approach. I mean, it has to go on the wonky, wonky bridge, which I will tackle at some point because it's bloody ugly. Um, but yeah, that it's a good looking bit of engineering. Nice swooping S shape um yeah okay that's one 
At the moment, I'm not going to worry about all that. I'm just going to connect it um, to this line and call it a day. Like that. So we need to look at the other end, uh, which is in Deventer. We'll need to try and find a nice way to disconnect this. Ka ching Look at how fast that money is coming in. I can, if I run at fast speed, I reckon I can't build against it. Right, um, we do need to pause the game because this is going to take a bit of demolishing and so forth. Uh, yes, that can go, that can go, that can go. That's a double line, which actually I don't mind at all, so we're not going to cut that any further. We're just going to link that up. That. And then we are going to think about how we get to there. Now, my initial thinking is to just extend the tunnel, if we can. Oh, it comes out and then goes into a tunnel. That's pretty good looking. Yeah, quite like that. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh-huh. And then we'll see how much it costs to connect in. Ah, look at that. This track building, it's easy. Plonk, done. Right. Um, yeah, it's going straight under. Ah, oh, beautiful. That worked out better than I thought it would. Right, we can run the clock again because the track's already fixed. Now, theoretically, why is this... Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. Bummel has got waypoints on its line, which it now no longer can do anything with. Um, we can take all of those out, and now there's no one. Good. I want to ride my little passenger train through that new epic setup. Let's have a look at it. We're going to run it a bit quicker. As we are watching, you might as well play low, which is really coming down rapidly. And despite all the work we just I mean, that line we just built is what, 2 million? So that was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. So, Boomel. Ready to go, rock and roll. One of the reasons for building this line as well is I want to uh, double up capacity on the passenger side because this train is just raking it in, but it's also full all the time. And that's uh, a terrific sign for us. But yeah, we need to have capacity on the line to do that. And by separating out the passenger line from the freight line, we can create that capacity. So we're going to go to David and then I'm going to go switch camera mode and slow down a bit. Yeah, okay, do that and do that. And let's see what this ride is now. So coming out of David, we immediately go under, which is actually a really good shot, looking shot in my opinion, with that industry over right there. Looks very city-like. And there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, and then we go straight into the next tunnel, which will go under the freight line. Actually, there's opportunity here for some really nice screenshot to be with the train coming. Yeah, I just realized that. That's actually pretty cool. But I'm not going to faff about with stopping trains and all that until I can get that shot. Right, we're going into the next tunnel here, and then we should be on the straight and narrow. 60. Uh, now with auto save. Of course, it's doing an auto save to get to this tunnel, and then we're going to hit 90 any minute now. I think, at least that's the theory. But I think we're sloping down a little out of this tunnel. So we're hitting 80 kilometers an hour, which is good. The passengers are cheering in the background because they're the first to drive this new line. And there we go, pop into the valley. Oh, there's actually been a new plan. And into the valley and we can see the freight line, which used to be the old passenger line originally, off to the left there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once we get electric trains, this will be uh, high speedified and we'll start boosting the track speed records on this bit, like quite a lot I would think. 
So we're doing 90 kilometers here and it's looking nice and steady. There's another way of actually increasing passenger capacity rather than just throwing an extra train on. We could just change the locomotive for this and use this locomotive for the freight line. Oh, now you're talking, yes. That's actually a bad idea. I think we will do that. Yeah. We've got a stutter there, and of course it's not. We can see the goods today with the train popping up there. Tools to pay for. And then we go underground again. Nice and gentle, still doing 90 kilometers an hour with ease by the looks of things. And we will pop out of the other side and go onto a lovely S-shaped bridge. Yeah, this is stuttering a bit. I'm not sure what's causing the uh, lag there. Yeah. Hmm, I think it's. I really shouldn't have put this game on the mechanical hard I think it was rather stupid. But there is nothing I can do about it now. We are just rolling along nicely. Do, 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 do. I genuinely don't know what's going on, I'm going to have to investigate, I think that's the uh, wonder if there's something in the background, like a stupid fire or something. I'm normally a, oh look at that, that's a beautiful thing. I'm normally a Mac guy, I've only got this PC because I want to stream and record it again. Uh, I, I absolutely detest Windows with a passion, it's got a lot better to repair, but it's still not great. So we're on the S line and we're driving up to here Hugo Wad, which as you can see is already beginning to high rise, uh, which isn't bad going for 1930. So yeah, especially with the 1920 staff. I am looking at the oil fields. I just love this guy. Look at it, you know. Oh it's not as pretty as I don't really care. It's a beautiful game. There's some geese up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, there's a really wonky bridge that is dreadful to look at. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, uh, Dr. Bond was happy with that. Hey, look at that, it's not even properly attached. Now he's a proper architect, that Dr. Bond. Uh-huh, and then we arrive in here to go that. And that is that. Excellent. Good. I'm rather pleased to that effort, that is nice. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision now. What am I going to do with this train? And I am genuinely, now that I have been thinking about it for a bit, tempted to... Um, I've got money. And as you know, the rule is I can buy uh, vehicles. I am very tempted <laughs> to... Uh, to make it into a proper passenger train, a flying Scotsman, the legendary train, 120, which is very handy. Uh, oh, why have I not got proper cars yet? Uh, is that 10 kilometers an hour worth a difference in annual expense of Seven, yeah, six and a half ton. No, they call it seven. No, it's not. So this is a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it is. Um, we are going to add one of those. Uh, and to make it extra wonky, we're going to color it up like that. Hmm. Okay, that's a shame. It's a bit too early in the uh, calendar, basically, to do that. Right, okay, so well, let me just double check how much time I've got uh, because I do need to start thinking of work at some point. We've recorded for 25 minutes. I think in that case I'm going to call this an episode um, because I don't want to um, start a new project and get lost on it if you like. So we are doing brilliantly well as you can see. I'm actually going to be able to pay off this loan in no time. If we run this game for 20 minutes in the background, that debt will be gone. Um, so, well, 20 minutes, probably two minutes actually, the way we're going. So I am rather pleased. I think we are doing really well. 
Um, and uh, we're off on a good start. And I'm actually beginning to think now, and I thought this yesterday, that maybe I shouldn't have started on easy. Um, because frankly, I could have started on medium. And we could have done quite well. But anyway, this was Dr. Clumber. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That was episode number four. Uh, number five will be produced uh, at some point not too far away. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.